All right, guys, so today I'm gonna show you guys how to do another sweet treat. I'm gonna show you guys how to make Nanaimo bars. These are a Canadian dessert. They um, are actually named after Nanaimo, BC. So I'm really looking forward to trying these. I've always eaten them. I've tried them in different flavors like coffee, peanut butter, mint. But today I'm gonna show you guys how to make the original kind. They're just a nice plain, um, like custard buttercream in the middle with a coconutty chocolate bottom and a layer of chocolate on top. I think you guys are really gonna like these. So let's get baking, I'll show you how to make them. Our first step is to get the dry ingredients ready. So in a bowl, you're gonna mix together one and three quarter cups of graham cracker crumbs, one cup of shredded coconut, and half a cup of finely chopped almonds. The almonds are optional. They just add a little extra texture, a little extra flavor. If you choose not to use them, just add a little bit more coconut and a little bit more of the graham cracker crumbs. So once you have those all together in a bowl, just mix them until they're well combined with a fork. The whisk did not work, and then you're gonna set it aside. Next, we're gonna use a double boiler over um, low heat on your stove, very low heat, and we are gonna to melt together a half a cup of butter a quarter cup of sugar, and five tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder. We're gonna mix it just until it's all melted and combined, which only takes literally a minute or less. Then we have one egg slightly beaten in a separate bowl, and I'm gonna add some of the chocolate to it slowly, just so that it doesn't curdle the eggs. And then I'm gonna pour it into our chocolate mixture and mix it just until it's combined, and then I'm gonna remove it from the heat right away and I'm gonna add it into our dry ingredients. You're gonna mix your chocolate into your coconut graham cracker mixture until it is all combined and it's kind of sticky. And then we're gonna take that um, base and we're gonna put it into a pan. I'm using, I think it is like an eight by eight or nine by nine pan and my mistake in this is I didn't put parchment paper in it so that it would make it easier to take them out of the pan once they're all cooled. Anyway, I do this all the time and you know what? I always forget. <laughs> so anyway, just take that like um, gooey base. I don't even know what to call it. Just the base of these bars and you're going to squish it all down into the pan and then you're going to put it in the fridge for I don't know, let's say about a half hour. You want it to be cold or at least cooled so when we make our buttercream filling, it doesn't melt on top. To make the custard buttercream, I'm going to cream together a half a cup of butter with three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of custard powder. So the custard powder, you can substitute it with um, vanilla instant pudding mix if you can't find custard powder. I could not find it here in the US. I had to order it on Amazon, which I have linked in the description below. In Canada, you could probably find it in the grocery store. So it's called Bird's Original Custard Powder. That is what I'm using. That's what the recipe called for. Again, if you can't find it, I've linked it down in the description. All right, so once you've creamed together your butter, your cream, your custard powder, then you're going to start mixing in two cups of icing sugar or powdered sugar whichever you'd like to call it and you're going to mix that until it is really well combined make sure you stop your mixer and scrape down the size of your bowl and you'll know it's ready when it has a really smooth consistency and it turns a very light pale yellow Next, you're gonna take your custard buttercream, you're gonna put it on top of your chocolate coconutty base, and you're gonna spread it around as evenly as you can all the way to the edges, and then you're gonna put it back in the fridge for a few minutes. Okay, so next we're gonna melt four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate with two teaspoons of butter. You're gonna remove your Nanaimo bars out of the fridge, and you're gonna spread your melted chocolate on top of them. Spread it out as evenly as you can, and then you're gonna put them back into the fridge until the chocolate hardens. Once your Nanaimo bars have hardened, you're gonna remove them from your pan and you're gonna start cutting them into little squares, whatever size you want, whatever shape you want. This is where the parchment paper would have come in very useful. I had the hardest time trying to get these out of the pan and I messed up the edges of the squares. 
Anyway, it was a little bit difficult. So to try not to crack the top of the chocolate on, on the Nanaimo bars, what I did was heat my knife under hot water. I just kept the water running until it was hot and I left it running. And then I wiped off the knife between each slice that I cut just to try and not crack the top of the chocolate. All right, guys, so all done. Um, as you saw, when I was trying to cut these, it was really hard because the chocolate just wants to crack on top. So I did heat the knife under hot water, wiped it off, heated it off, wiped it off, tried my best to cut it without cracking the top layer of chocolate. I think they turned out pretty good. They look great. Um, I did make a few little mistakes like I should have put like those two layers of parchment paper in my pan so that I could have just lifted it out and it I wouldn't have had to fight to get it out of the pan but I know the, the the recipe said you know put it in an ungreased pan it didn't say anything about putting parchment paper in it so lesson learned I learned something while making these so that's awesome um I am so looking forward to making these again I'm going to make them in mint next time because I love mint, I love chocolate, I like the combination. So I'm going to make them in mint next time. But for now, these are the original. It did fall apart a little bit as I was trying to cut them. But that's okay because I'm going to eat them and they're going to still taste amazing. So the bottom is that coconutty, chocolatey bottom, kind of like a macaroon. And then a layer of like a buttercream chocolate and they are delicious mm. and they're so sweet and I always lose my towel so these I can't believe I have never made these living in Canada and I've never made them so I'm happy that I did it it was super easy so I did have to order custard powder because I didn't know what it was and all the recipes said to use this birds custom custard powder oh my gosh um, so I just ordered it on Amazon. I will put a link in the in my description of where I got it, but I didn't know what else to use. Um, everything I read said you could use instant vanilla pudding as well, but it doesn't turn out as good. So because I wanted this to be as you know original as I could, I went and ordered it on Amazon. Now I have a gigantic jar of it, so I gotta make these a whole bunch more times and I'll take them to like every party, every invite we get. I guess I'm gonna be taking these until this is used up. So, uh, this was a fantastic recipe. The link, of course, is gonna be in the description. And, you know, I would really like your feedback. What would you like to see more of? Do you want more baking videos, more cooking videos? Um, do you have a suggestion for a video? Like. What do you as my viewers like watching? Let me know so that I can tailor my videos a little bit to what you guys like. So thank you so much for, for watching this one. Um, you know, hit those bells and the subscribe and the likes and the thumbs and <laughs> hit all those, those buttons. And thank you again. You know what? Leave a comment down below of what you would like to see on my channel, what types of cooking or baking videos, if there's specific recipes, I am more than happy to give them a try. And remember, I now have a book, a cookbook notebook available on Amazon, and the link will be in every single one of my uh, video descriptions, and it'll take you right to my author page where I have it available. So, um, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you for whatever I decide to make next.